Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get set up with a VPN on your Samsung Smart TV or any Smart TV. And also in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a VPN and also change your location so you can access the various versions of Netflix. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm just going to quickly explain to you a couple of different ways in which you can install a VPN onto your Samsung Smart TV and the method that I personally use. So the first ways in which you can do this is by installing a VPN directly onto your internet router. So by doing this, whenever you connect um, your Apple TV or maybe your Samsung TV to the router itself, this will allow you to change your particular location on all of your devices. However, this method is very complicated and time consuming, and it really isn't that accessible for many people. And the second way for setting up a VPN on the Samsung TV is by setting up a DNS server. So this is also a very complicated and time consuming process. You essentially have to host your own server with a DNS name. So then you can access all the different versions of the streaming platforms that you're trying to access. And the third way in which you can do this is by using a third party device like an Amazon Fire Stick. And this is the method that I'm currently using for my Samsung TV as you simply don't have the functionality of downloading VPNs directly on the Samsung store. So you really have to use a third party device um, like this one in particular, as many of the others like the Apple TVs um, don't allow you to do this. So I do realize it is a little bit annoying having to use a third party device to bypass the TV so you can download a VPN. However, in saying that these devices are really inexpensive and they really do bring a lot to the table, um, these are really easy to set up. You simply plug it into the back of your TV and then you have the ability of downloading third party apps like VPNs and also free apps for watching TV shows and movies. So if you are looking to go down this route, maybe you're looking to pick one up or maybe you already have one, I'll quickly show you how you can do that, download a VPN and also access the different versions of Netflix. So as I already have mine plugged in, I'm just going to jump over to the Amazon Fire TV Stick interface. So I'll just click on the source, I'll go to the Fire Stick. So this is the Amazon Fire TV Stick dashboard. Um, it's very similar to the Samsung TV or maybe an Apple TV, um, so it's very easy to navigate and use. And as you can see guys, I've got all these same apps as you would kind of see with other um, platforms, Netflix, um, Prime Video, YouTube and all the others. And I also have the ability of downloading, downloading VPNs as well. So these are really awesome as it allows me to go and change my digital uh, location so I can access all the different versions of Netflix. So just to show you how to quickly get one set up on your Amazon Fire Stick, you can go to the navigation menu at the top, go to the left hand side, and the VPN I'm using in this video is called ExpressVPN, and I have found them to be one of the best at allowing me to bypass the restrictions, and they're also incredibly fast as well. So I'm just going to type in the first couple of letters. So I'll just type in EX, and this will come up as a recommended app. So I'll click on this one, and this will bring me to this page where I have the ability of downloading the app. So I already have this installed onto my Amazon Fire Stick. However, if you don't, there'll be a little yellow circle. So you just want to click on that one and that will install onto your device. So I'll open this one. And if you don't already have a uh, ExpressVPN account, I'll have an exclusive discount link down below in the video description that does take 49% off the original price. And it also gives you free additional months on top of that as well. So you can click that one down below in the video description. That will open you in a new tab and you simply do create an account and then log in with your username and password. So I'll go to the interface of ExpressVPN. And as you can see guys, it's very minimalist and this makes it very simple to use. So I can just go and click on this button and this will connect me to the fastest server closest to my location. Or alternatively, say I'm looking to watch the uh, British based version of Netflix and watch TV shows like Friends, then that's very easily done by clicking on this large uh, box here. And from here, I can scroll down the recommended locations or I can search for a particular location as well. So this also does work for America, Spain, Japan and many other countries. So uh, UK will be on the recommended list. So I can just go down and click on this location. And this will now go and automatically connect me to the fastest server in the UK. And once this is highlighted in green, uh, this just notifies me that my entire Amazon Fire TV stick is now connected. And just as a side note, you can also follow the same process for your iPhone and desktop device 
as ExpressVPN actually does allow you to connect up to five devices simultaneously. So now that we're connected, I can go back to the home page. And as you can see guys, I've got Netflix here, but before I open Netflix, the first thing I have to do is close the application and then relaunch it. And this will go and allow me to load the UK based version of Netflix. So I'll go to the menu and then go all the way over to settings. And then I'll go to applications. And then I'll go to manage installed applications. And then I'll go all the way down to Netflix. I'll go on force stop and then launch application. So this will go and load me onto the British based version of Netflix. And I really do recommend you do this anytime you change uh, your digital location as this will allow you to view a fresh version of Netflix for whatever country you're trying to connect to. So now I'll go and click on my profile. And as you can see guys, we now have the UK um, Netflix here as you can see. And I'm actually located in Australia, so this means I miss out on many TV shows and movies that can be found on this platform, plus many others. So now that I'm here, I can go to the search. And I actually want to watch the uh, Friends TV show. And this actually is still available on Netflix as long as you know where to look. So I'll just do a quick search for that one. Search for Friends. And as you can see guys, we now have access to the Friends TV show. And if I scroll down a little bit further, this also uncovers other um, TV titles such as How I Met Your Mother, um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, That 70s Show. And this is really only scratching the surface as to the amount of content you can uncover when using a VPN on your Samsung uh, Smart TV. So what I'm going to do now is just go play a really small snippet of this in real time. As I really want to show you guys that this method is actually working on the Samsung TV for watching the various versions of Netflix and even other platforms such as Amazon Prime, Hulu, and Disney Plus. So I'll go and click on this one. So now I'll go and play this episode. And from my typical experience, um, depending on the time of day that you're trying to connect, it usually does take between five and sometimes 20 seconds. And this can also depend on where you're located in the world, how many people are on the server, and a couple of other factors as well. So again, guys, I'll just let this load in real time as I really want to give you a real representation of what it's like to use these VPNs for watching uh, the different versions of Netflix. So as you can see from that test guys, ExpressVPN works incredibly well for unblocking the different versions of Netflix on a Samsung TV. And again, if you do want to get started with them, I do have a massive 49% discount link down below in the video description. So hopefully this video on how to use a VPN on a Samsung TV has been helpful for you. Um, if I've missed anything out or maybe you'd like me to address something else, then please feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.